All right, here we are in the final round. I would like to be on the play. This hand, huh? Do you keep six lands on the play and just hope to draw on a good stuff? Ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I have two. Um, I have two. Sign and Bloods I could draw into. Uh, Ghostly Changeling is not bad with this much mana. I'll be able to give him two pumps the turn after the turn after I play him, if nothing else. My opponent, oh, okay, it's like my opponent doesn't have a turn one play. It makes me feel a little bit better about keeping it. And my opponent's a play a land second, play stuff second main kind of guy, I guess. Red green, nest invader sounds like the domain deck. Happy to pick up nameless inversion here. Go ahead and play Ghostly Changeling. Hmm, trade here? No, I think I just take two here for now. And then get him for three on the crack back. Ooh, Hikari, haven't drawn into that yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and swing two. Let's make it three. I think my opponent missed a land drop last turn. Definitely won't be this turn. Yeah, my opponent is playing a domain deck. What is this? Tribal Flames for three, you got it. I think I will go ahead and just get rid of this Nest Invader. Cast my Hikari. So this keep has worked out so far, I think. Ooh, four. Cry's a spirit, right? Yeah, so I can soul shift into him if I need to. Yep, tribal flames is good. So now I have a couple things I could soul shift back. Really everything in my graveyard is soul shiftable here. Etched Oracle, I see. Plains, Joy. I'll swing for four here. I'm in no rush to, uh, I mean, he'll, he's gonna be drawing some cards off that guy, unfortunately. Oblivion Ring. Oblivion ringing what? Soul shifter? Wait, what is going on? Let's go ahead and blow that up. Give back my Hikari. Oh, Hikari costs five. Let's just get back Ghostly Changeling then. I'll take four this turn, but my opponent will just sack his guy and draw whatever in response. Draw three, yeah. So I don't really want to. I don't really want to two for one myself on top of that. If I tried to kill it, I mean, my opponent's a very fast player as well. Bone splinters. Probably going to save that. As right now, if I do it, my opponent will just draw three before his turn. Which doesn't seem like a very good deal. Can't really block here. 
next turn I'll at least be able to force him to use it. Wax main Baku, okay. So, do I get in with my ghostly changeling here? Hmm. Now I think I'll leave back for now. Since now I can offer to at least kill the etched oracle and I'm sure my opponent would rather draw th three cards and just have my stuff in the graveyard. Oh, did it seriously just do that? Oh, how annoying. Moto just tapped my mana all wrong. Ugh. I'm probably going to lose because of that. Gross. <sighs> Well, now I feel like I kind of have to. It's not ideal. My opponent probably is going to win this game here pretty soon. I need to draw into some action very badly. Got 11 cards to work with. Two of them are lands. Well, my opponent does have to discard two here. Uh, nameless Inversion. Two lands, it looks like. Not unhappy with Nameless Inversion. It means my opponent has to draw something big. Like whatever this is, probably. Primeval Titan, maybe? No, bigger. Maybe, probably an Eldrazi, honestly. Ooh, he got the Palaka Worm. Yeah, like I said earlier, I don't know if I can beat Palaka Worm. At least not with stuff I have left. Thief of Hope. What does that get me? I can really only get back my other Nameless Inversion. Which is enough, actually. I'll three for one myself here. Ooh, that's brutal. So yeah, I think I just lose. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just concede. Oh, I could have nameless inversion response, but whatever. Um, so this seems hard. I could have nameless inversion response, as I just realized. Blinding Soul Leader is gonna come in. I think Ghostly Changeling comes out. I think Grim Affliction comes out. I think my goal is to just tap down his big stuff. Yeah, that was brutal. We'll try this out. I'll be on the play. Uh, this hand is not great. Just need another land, but I don't think it's good to mulligan too aggressively. My opponent lost. My opponent this round is. Very good. I would not be surprised if I just totally lose. Another Ghost Council is probably the worst draw I could have had right there. Nest Invader, yeah, that's bad. If something goes right. I will not be trading with this nest invader. Looks like my opponent probably has a tribal flames ready to go.
uh, just really awful draws from my end here. Trouble Flames is a sorcery, right? Yeah, I think it is. It does feel kind of like a trap, but... Because he can still Trouble Flames me here. But my guys persist, fortunately. Alright, planes. I think it's more important to go ahead and resolve that. I really need another black source, that would be great. Then I could play my ghost council. Let's go ahead and swing with everyone here. This also protects my ghost council. Though honestly, if my opponent tries to kill my ghost council, I may just... Well, I think in that case... I'm going to sacrifice that so my opponent can't do that. Oh, he gets it anyway? Okay. Still useful, I think. So this means I can go ahead and play the Scuttling Death, which might be better. I think it is. I think it is better to just go ahead and play Scuttling Death here. Keep up the pressure. This could be Palaka Worm. Yeah, I should have killed the other thing when I had the chance, I suppose. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. I meant to drain him. So I can swing three here. I can just go ahead and block with both my scuttling death and my ghost council, because he doesn't know I have another ghost council. Horde of notions. Ugh. Man, this guy's deck is brutal. So wait, if I don't do anything, he will take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't really think it's worth it. We're just going to go ahead and double block here. 
Uh, yeah, I get to draw a card, but I do have another ghost council. And I'll be able to soul shift back. Probably my restless apparition at this point. I wonder why he didn't attack with that creature. Alright, so getting close here. I don't think he has any elementals in his graveyard. So he unfortunately gets back his uh, nest invader, but I don't think this is going to be enough. So I'm going to drain him for one and swing for three in the air. Yeah, and I have the Tarishi's grasp for the narcolepsy. So yeah, that seemed to work out okay. Um, is there anything better I could do? No, I think that's fine. I think I just need to get... I think I just need to keep some good hands and hope my opponent doesn't get too crazy. I think this hand is perfect, actually. Uh, it's a little slow, but it has Blinding Soul Eater, which is could probably make all the difference in this matchup. Probably bait with my Apparition to make sure he doesn't get any... Um, Tribal Flames on it. I think I've seen at least two. Alright, that's very good for me. No green. There's no reason not to go ahead and play this. Playing the Blinding Soul Eater may actually be a little better because he won't be able to play two lands to kill it, so I think I will go ahead and play it instead. I'm just firing that off. Go ahead and swing one, at the very least. Next turn I will get to play my Ghost Council. Oh man, what is this? Horde of Notions, perhaps? Ooh, that's pretty good. Unfortunately I have my Blinding Soul Eater. Oh, I have Tarashi's Grasp, which I actually like a little better. Because I can sign in Blood and Tarashi's Grasp. Just blank my opponent's turn here. Alright, I like that sequence. Now I have stuff like Bone Splinters. 
and Thief of Hope. That happens. Fortunately, I'll be able to kill the Manta again. I think my opponent has more than one Vengeful Rebirth also. So if my opponent taps out to do this again, I will certainly be killing it. Again. Just to try and establish some tempo here. That's fine. Ghost Council is a good card. I feel like that's a huge understatement. My opponent still has six mana. Oh, okay. I think I'm okay with that. So now I can go one, two, three, cast, one, two, three, four, cast, and I can give my Ghost Council Pro Color if I need to. So, my, for, so far my opponent's used two Vengeful Rebirths. <coughs> I wonder how many he has. Is this the Manta? Yeah, fortunately I have the Bone Splinters. So let's go ahead and sign in blood myself. Nameless Inversion is good too. It's actually, yeah, I have it here. Alright, that should do it. Just in case though, let's go one, two, three. Yeah, and there we go. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching today. Ooh, I like this. Got some new phantom points. I like this avatar a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, got some new phantom points, so expect some more drafts. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Gorzala's Magic.